Hello and welcome. My name is Zafi Roth and this is Resident Evil 6 for the PC in our last episode. Finish up chapter four of Jake and Sherry's campaign. We are heading into the final chapter. Um, I believe it's going to be in the underwater thing. So, uh, yeah, then all we got is Ada left and then we're done with six. Uh, so yeah, let's, I think we read, um, already the other day. I'm sorry. I trusted Simmons. I should have been able to see through his lies. This is all my fault. Just following orders, right? I thought you were doing the right thing. Find the vaccine. Save the world and all that. Oh, look, there's the first one already. What the hell just happened? Ugh, of course, they took our weapons. Of course. But I'm pretty sure they probably stored it right over there somewhere. Hey, there's our gear. How do we get in there? Oh, look at the mice, we're dancing. Look. Thanks. Up, but up, but uh, let's see. This would be a good time to read some reports. Like, oh yeah, that's what's going on. I totally understand now. Nah, no idea. The fuck. It's one of those guys. You sure? Hey, break down the door. Save me from climbing through those air ducts. Yeah, she's getting uh chomped on though. Hey, break down the door. Save me from climbing through those air ducts. Yeah, say it again. Hey, break down the door. Save me from climbing through those for a girl. I, I was kidding, but okay. Right. Hold on a second. I gotta. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want. I had better pathfinding. It's jizzing everywhere. I think it's dead now. Okay. Oh, yeah, see, I almost forgot about you. Uh, anything back here? Nope, just these weird box things.
Electricity temporarily rerouted to incubation chamber. To activate elevator, please attach reserve battery. Reserve battery? That's a reserve battery. How is it? Let's make sure we're all loaded up. We're good to go. Well, let's put this one on now. Oh, it wants us to go this way. Okay. But we don't have the reserve battery. Reserve battory one activated. Twenty-five percent charged. We gotta get more. Damn it. That they could do is like go splat, right? Okay. That's hardly practical. We got no choice. Really? There's no other way up? Well. Whatever, Jake. Good job, Sherry. I love physics. Is the other one? Hopefully, it's dead. These are fucking useless. Alright, right now we'll go back. 
I've been having a hell of a time. Like, these things are just ridiculously strong. Melee is not doing anything. Fucking shots with this thing and it's still not dead. Come on. I've got a jizz everywhere. I just want to use up some ammo to be honest, but... Fuck you! Alright, now, moving on... What the fuck? That's like shotguns to the face and nothing. Oh my god. Sorry. It's irritated. It's stupid. Oh, that's great. Sherry. Oh, 
I need to those anyways. Sure, you sweetheart, where did you go? I'm not even sure where I'm going. <laughs> oh, maybe here? It's like, congratulations, you made it this far. Uh, nothing else, huh? I want to go to F, maybe? I'm not even sure where Sherry is at. Holy fuck, I'm just gonna run. things that are fucking annoying. Dude, come on! <laughs> that worked. Fuck off, you guys. Guess we got lava tubes. Ah, oh, she's just been chilling here.
damage detected. Please use the elevator for evacuation. First there's no power, now there's too much. At least the yeah. elevator works. I have to find a way to stop this. <laughs> yeah, let's jump on it. Crane might do the trick. That was cool. Honestly, that's a better way of killing them. Quick shot. Okay, now where was this crane at? I'd be dead. Well, I think any real person would have been dead in the first five minutes of this game. Oh, we're gonna get sandwiched, show oh, knows. Sherry, you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Hurry! You got those boobas though. Fuck those guys. Alright. You know, all things considered, not bad. Alright, let's go. See you're okay. Wait, was that you who just freed us? Looks like you guys saved the day again, huh? I can see your father in you. How did you know? Wait, hold on a second. I see you know him? Yeah, I did. I'm the one that killed him. I didn't even know him. <sighs> See, like, why would Jake care? He doesn't even know his dad. It was you? That's right. Chris? Better put a leash on that puppy. This is between me and him. Go ahead. Shoot. 
you have every right to. <laughs> Just promise me you'll survive. The world depends on it. Who the hell are you to tell me what to do? Stop it! Put your gun down! Now! Tell me. We just following orders? Or was it personal? Oh, oh, definitely personal. Both. Jake, please stop. Put a bullet just in your put head! Put your gun down! Drop your weapon! Don't do this! at stake than you and me. We gotta go! Jake! I know! I mean, honestly, what does he care? What the hell is this? The end of the world. Unless we stop it. So, if that giant cocoon hatches... We're in trouble. Yeah, just a bit. We gotta get out of here in one HQ. Chris has done nothing but save your ass, like, vice versa. Not sure where you're going, pal. What the fuck is going on right now? Who are you targeting?
Let's go. Wait! Hey! We got a job to finish. There is no way they can take that thing! We are not going back. But they're gonna get killed! Then that's their choice! It's a sacrifice they're willing to make, and we can't stop them. Jake! You know what? I'm not my father. I want to make damn sure that it stays that way. We're getting out of here. And we're gonna save the world. You're right. Let's go. We're gonna bang. I'm through with this. Where's the exit? That was the fire temple. All right, there is one in here somewhere. All right. Let's go with Dude's <laughs> back. Derp a derp space. Some you ugly son of a bitch! Alright. Oh, that was the wrong way. Come on, let's go. Get up. gotta take this fight somewhere else! Come on, I should totally be able to. Just keep thought up in his game. But now he's got a fired ball.
Oops. I guess running in lava is a bad idea. like that. Yeah! <laughs> 
Probably a mistake. That all you got? I'll cover you! Thanks! That's it, Jake! You got it! all my stuff. Okay, that just goes in. We don't want to go that way anyways. I lost every single one of my weapons. We're in some kind of warehouse. There's gotta be a way to move shit in and out. There's no goddamn steering! What? Christ almighty! What does it take to lose this guy? Come on! We have to move quicker up! He just take the hit! Jake! Keep going! He just a Jesus, take the wheel! Yeah, like a rocket sled? What the hell? Hey, check out the cargo. Think of what I'm thinking? I am now. Come on! Take that, asshole! This other metal from. One more for you,
shit ends now. gonna make so many immune babies. Jake Wesker's blood sample was handed over to the UN's leading researchers, along with six months worth of test results retrieved from Neo Umbrella's archives. With the data now in the right hands, Things seem to be finally settling down. Following Jake's rescue, BSAA officials classified his relationship to Albert Wesker as top secret, recognizing the threat it could pose to global security. Why is she still wearing the same thing? <laughs> 50 bucks. Why is he still wearing the same thing? That was a lame ending. Fucking died six times. <laughs> I killed more enemies than Chris and Piers. All right, uh, we're gonna read the things, um, and then we'll get going into Ada's in the next episode. Because God, we're almost done with this terrible game. Um, let's see what we got here. Jake Mueller's infamous father. Albert Wesker, father of Jake Mueller, had a very rare physiology. His body was highly resistant to viral infection, and he was even able to manipulate the virus he had injected into himself so that he would only reap their benefits and none of its deleterious effects. The self-experimentation gave him abilities that can only be described as superhuman. As Albert's son, Jake enjoys the same immunity to viral infection. When Jake injects himself with a solution containing the C-virus, it has no visible effect on him. Albert Wesker planned what would have been the deadliest terrorist attacks in human history, and he would only have succeeded had Chris Redfield and the BSAA not killed him in time. Jake has never met his father and knows nothing about the atrocities he committed. He is also unaware of his genetic legacy he is heir to. Which again, like, why would he be so pissed off? Yeah, you got my dad. Rawr. The deal with the United States. The reason the U.S. government took Sherry Birkin into custody is twofold. 
One, they hoped to study the G-virus that remained in her blood, and two, they sought to protect her from Albert Wesker, who wanted to possess a sample of the G-virus. In 2009, the organization Albert had worked for fell apart after he was eliminated by the BSAA on a mission in Africa. Cherry was thus freed from the threat posed by Albert and his organization. The government offered her a chance to leave their protective care if she agreed to come work for them. Cherry learned of how bioweapons had caused the deaths of countless people around the world, and she couldn't bear to think of others enduring what she had experienced as a child. She readily agreed to work as a special agent on the direct supervision of Derek C. Simmons. Agent Birkin's latest assignment is to find Jake Mueller, the only known living individual to see virus antibodies, and escort him back to the United States. Ubistank 2. Ubistank was created to be the ultimate B.O.W., originally a human who had freely injected himself with the C-Virus. His final grotesque form was a result of new umbrella scientists. Even though he is a manufactured B.O.W., all his mental faculties as a human remain intact, giving him the capacity for cognitive thought. This makes Ubistank the perfect candidate for carrying out missions on his own. A side effect of the mutation is that it very well may have increased his intelligence as he is able to use complex machinery and equipment soon after picking it up. C virus vaccine. Anti C is the tentative name given to the U.S. Gov given by the U.S. government to the vaccine for the C virus created from the blood work of Jake Mueller. When this vaccine is administered to a person not yet infected by the C virus, that person will be given immunity to the virus. The vaccine, however, only shows a very low success rate in helping people who have already been infected, and only if those people have not displayed any characteristics unique to the Javo. Usually, administration at this stage is fatal. When the person already displays Javo characteristics, he has entered a cocoon and mutation stage. Administration vaccine is always fatal. The anti-C is not a guarantee against infection by the C virus, but its mere existence also provides a measure of security to the world's population. Uh, still no idea what the fuck is going on. So, whatever. I don't know. Anyways, um, all we got left is Ada, and then we're done. So, you know, uh, that's what we'll pick up doing in the next episode. Until then, friends, stay true to yourselves, follow your hearts, stay human, and uh, we'll see you then. Until then, bye-bye. <laughs>